Now, when it comes to America and the empire of America, it shows you its very obvious clues that will lead you to the identity of the, these individuals that run this empire. And when, you, when you're talking about the supreme power, the God of knowledge, according to 1 Samuel 2 and 3, this God of knowledge, he will give his people the knowledge that they need to know and the understanding of who these individuals go back to because this is a nation also that was prophesied to hide themselves Jeremiah 49 and 10 so also 2 Thessalonians the second chapter verse 3 talks about the, the man of sin the son of destruction being revealed in verse 8 of 2 Thessalonians the second chapter we talk about that wicked shall be revealed. So that means somebody is hiding the wicked. They are hiding themselves. And so the most I gave us clues to identify these individuals. He gave us clues to understand who these people are and they are being revealed to this day. And the obvious thing that this information in the Bible been around for 2,000 years. So why wasn't these individuals being spoken on, on until now, when we are at the end? Because he say that day won't come until they will be revealed. So we were at the period of time where they're being revealed, revealed uh, and he's given his prophets the revelation. Because, see, they would not understand because they are part of the, the wicked, uh, what, Daniel, 10 and, uh, Daniel 12 and 10. They are part of the wicked that's being revealed. So they won't understand because they have been hidden, just like the nation of Israel has been hidden. These individuals have been hidden. Now, let's go into the scriptures and see how they are being revealed and one of the main signs is the eagle you see you see this on the dollar and you see this in all of these individuals kingdoms and, and uh, I would say the popular word nations the, the countries that they possess and, and rule this is their symbol so let's go into the scriptures. Okay. Now I wanna get the first scripture, the, the most obvious scripture. Second Ezra chapter 11. We're gonna get a two out of here. Uh, here it is, it says, and I saw, and behold, she spread her wings over all the earth. See, this, this, this eagle, because the first verse they there came up from the sea, an eagle. So this eagle spread her wings over all the earth. Look at verse 5. It said, Moreover, I beheld, and lo, the eagle flew with her feathers and rained upon the earth. So this is a rulership and over them that dwell therein. So it rained over the earth and all the people in the earth. This eagle, see, the most I made it clear. Let's jump over to verse 12, chapter 12, Salakia. Chapter 12 and 11, it says, The eagle whom you saw has come up from the sea, is the kingdom which was seen in a vision of thy brother Daniel. So this eagle is a kingdom. 
and this kingdom is ruled by kings. See, that's what the ten kings of uh, Revelation 17 talks about in Revelation 12. The dragon, the red, great red dragon, they're reigning. So let's get, um, let's get 17 of uh, Ezekiel. These are some of the major, major verses that talks about this eagle. Verse 3, it says, and this is a riddle and a parable. See, it's written in parabolic terms. Before I get this, let's go to Hosea 12 and 10 to understand how the Most High operates. Say, I have spoken by the prophets, the Most High, and I have multiplied visions and used similar tubes by the ministry of the prophet. See, this is how the Most High works. He speaks in similar tubes. See, because this eagle is a immoral animal. The morals of an eagle is is pretty much non-existent because it steals its food and it's just very immoral. It's a, it's a robber and a thief. Just like this eagle, eagle-like nation. So let's go back to Ezekiel, chapter 17. And what did, what did this eagle steal? Verse 3, it says, And say, Thus says the Lord God, A great eagle with great wings, long-winged, filled of full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon. Now, Lebanon is a similitude for the nation of Israel. See? They say, and took the highest branch of the cedar because the cedar is the tree. And so, pretty much also, this Lebanon can be the, uh, the land of Israel. And then when you see, they say, and took the highest branch of the cedar, the cedar is the tree from that land. Okay, verse 4, it say he cropped off the top of his young twig. See, most of the, the children that was being put in on them slave ships was in the age of 18 and below. It say and carried it to a land of traffic or merchandise or land of traders. He set it in a city of merchants. See, that's that great city, Babylon, where in... in Revelation 18 and 13, it say that it had merchandise of slaves and souls of men. And so this is what this eagle-like nation have done. Now let's identify this eagle-like nation. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 20. Okay, 19, we're going to start at 19. It say, our persecutors are swifter than the eagle of the heaven they pursued us upon the mountains they laid wait for us in the wilderness who are these persecutors 21 rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom see that go to edom that's what that that's was the same symbol for edom is the symbol for the ones that started america same symbol and so we're going to go back. And let's go to Obadiah. The whole book of Obadiah was dedicated to the nation of Edom. And look at what it said in verse 4. It said, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. See, they exalt themselves as the eagle. They like to live in high places. Okay, let's get another dedication. Jeremiah 49 is dedicated to the nation of Edom. Verse 7, it says, concerning Edom. Okay, 
and then it tells you just like the eagle there's some they they're thieves thieves and robbers and that go the verse I quoted earlier uh, Esau will be uncovered he should not be able to hide himself him or his bloodline and his nation okay now we get down to uh, 16 it say their terribleness have deceived deceived thee and the pride of your heart O you that dwell in the clefts of the rocks see that's another uh, sign or similar to uh, that these this nation like to do they hang in the, the clefts of the rocks the mountains see that's why they, they used to call them Caucasians because they dwelt in the carcass Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. They say that holdeth the height of the hill, though thou shalt make thy nest as high as the eagle. Now the eagle is not the only bird that put their nest on high. Most birds put their nest on high. But the eagle is the representation of this nation of Edom. Okay? And that's who's running America. Okay, let's get um let's get Job 9 and 24. It's talking about that wicked. See, because remember, Second Ezra said that they reign on the earth over all the earth and those that dwell on the earth, this eagle like nation. He said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covereth the faces of the judges, if not where and who is he? Who covered up the face of of the Israelites in Yahweh Shah in Yahweh. See verse twenty five it says my days are swifter than a post they flew away and they see no good they are passed away as the swift ships see that's them slave ships as the eagle that has to that hurry to the prey. You see this is exactly after it's telling you that the Edomites is given the rulership of the earth is talking about ships and the eagle two great signs to let you know this is talking about America and these American and Europe so-called Europeans and so-called white people uh, those are some of the identities that they hide behind but their true identity is the nation of Edom okay and then when you go into, um, let's see here, Proverbs 23 and 5, it says, Will you set your eyes upon that which is not? Meaning, would you try to steal, rape, rob, and murder, which they are known to do? For riches certainly they make thyselves wings. See, that's that eagle. The wings covered the whole earth. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. See, heaven is also a representation of uh, the kingdom. And so, this is talking about the nation of Edom. They set their eyes upon that which is not. See, stuff that's not theirs, they want to set their eyes upon it and try to steal it. Then when you go into Habakkuk, it breaks down this nation of Edom. Now, when you look at chapter 3, it tells you God came from Teman. Teman is the son of Esau, one of the top nations of the nation of Edom. It says, uh, verse 5, it says, Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, never keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death. And cannot be satisfied, but gathered unto him all nations, and heap unto him all peoples. You see, and then look at what he said in verse 9. In verse 9, he said, Woe to him that covereth an evil convincingness to his house. They try to steal stuff to their at steal stuff out of other people's house and bring it to their house that he may set his nest on high. See, 
they set the nest on high like the eagle. And so, um, this is the nation that we dealing with, with the nation of Edom. I'm going to wrap it up with Deuteronomy the Curses because uh, Isaiah 34 and 5 say this is the people of his curse because they are the ones that's going to bring the curse on his peoples. He told them, he said, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. A nation of whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Verse 50, a nation of fierce continents which shall not regard the person of old nor show favor to the young. And so this wicked nation is who the Lord is using as his sword against his people. And their, their symbol is the eagle. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.